one day some twisted son of a bitch is bound to teach you a thing or two about living in this cold, godforsaken world. Japanese government officials are looking at options for how to store nuclear waste long term. They have been trying to secure host sites for the past 13 years, so they've revised their basic policy on final disposal with a panel of experts. The officials plan to bury highly radioactive waste from commercial plants at least 300 meters underground, but no municipalities has stepped forward to host the site over safety concerns. The new policy has been unveiled in an attempt to break the impasse under the plan, government officials will choose candidate sites based on quality of the ground and ease of transportation. They will also be able to recover the waste if policy change, policies change and technical problems arise. Scientists are stressing the importance of responding to public concerns. We need to present the public with a plan on the waste disposal. First, in order to restart Japan's idled reactors. Government officials will gather public com comments before the cabinet adopts the policy at the end of March. A series of earthquakes has struck northeastern Japan. Meteorologists say two of them were aftershocks from the March 2011 major quake. They're once again saying the effects of that earthquake could lead to additional strong tremors. People across Aomori Prefecture felt strong shaking just before 2 p.m. Tuesday local time. Authorities say they have received no reports of major damage. Officials at the Japan Meteorological Agency estimate the magnitude at 5.7. They say the epicenter was in the Pacific Ocean at a depth of 50 kilometers. Earlier on Tuesday, a magnitude 6.9 earthquake hit further offshore. It's been almost four years since the March 11th earthquake. However, we expect more aftershocks similar to what occurred today. We call on people in the area to be well prepared. Authorities issued a tsunami alert immediately after the earlier tremor. They observed waves of up to 20 centimeters around the area. They later called off the tsunami advisory. Japanese government officials are turning to technology to help control disasters caused by earthquakes. They're looking at circuit breakers that automatically shut down in response to movement, reducing the risk of fire. Members of an expert panel have been tasked with evaluating the technology. The breakers automatically stop the flow of electricity when they detect strong tremors. The panel has drawn up testing guidelines to determine if the breakers perform correctly. The devices must shut down when there's a strong jolt, but keep lights on so people can evacuate. Experts have estimated that a strong quake in Tokyo could kill 16,000 people. But officials say the new breakers could cut that figure to 5% of that. Quake-sensitive breakers should be introduced as soon as possible to prevent fires in a massive earthquake especially in areas with a lot of wooden houses. A major earthquake struck Kobe in western Japan 20 years ago. Government officials estimate that more than 60 percent of the fires that broke out after were caused by electrical appliances. Once again, Japan springs into action to make all of your augmented reality dreams come true. When the mainstream press and the government says nobody could have predicted this, they're lying through their fucking teeth. Japanese government officials are turning to technology to help control disasters caused by earthquakes. They're looking at circuit breakers that automatically shut down in response to movement, reducing the risk of fire. Members of an expert panel have been tasked with evaluating the technology. The breakers automatically stop the flow of electricity when they detect strong tremors. The panel has drawn up testing guidelines to determine if the breakers perform correctly. 
The devices must shut down when there's a strong jolt, but keep lights on so people can evacuate. Experts have estimated that a strong quake in Tokyo could kill 16,000 people, but officials say the new breakers could cut that figure to 5% of that. Quake-sensitive breakers should be introduced as soon as possible to prevent fires in a massive earthquake, especially in areas with a lot of wooden houses. A major earthquake struck Kobe in western Japan 20 years ago. Government officials estimate that more than 60 percent of the fires that broke out after were caused by electrical appliances. A magnitude 6.9 earthquake has struck off the coast of Iwate Prefecture in northeastern Japan at around 8 a.m. local time on Tuesday. The Japan Meteorological Agency says that it observed a several centimeter tsunami at ports in the region. No major damage has been reported. The agency says a tsunami advisory off the coast of Iwate Prefecture has now been lifted. We believe this earthquake to be an aftershock from the March 11, 2011 earthquake. The agency says it observed a 10-centimeter tsunami at ports in Miyako and 20 centimeters in Kuji. It also detected a several-centimeter tsunami at Kamaishi port. Authorities called off the advisory around 10.20 a.m. local time.